Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a huge cumulative thrift outlet haul. This is exactly 75 items. I sourced everything over the past week from both the Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill bins, as well as the Family Thrift Center outlet. So for everything, I spent $165 with 22 cents. Like I said, 75 items. So divided out, that is an average cost of goods of $2.21, $2.20. So very exciting. That is an excellent cost of goods for what I was able to find. A lot of designer, a lot of boho. I totally loved everything that I was able to find. I always love when that happens, but I'm just really enjoying what I source, not just because it's sellable and very marketable, but also because I like the style of it and, you know, I think it's really cute and fun. So let's go ahead and get into it. Three pairs of shoes, several accessories, and then the rest is clothing. So starting off with shoes, we have this pair of Minnetonka boots. They lace up in front. They have the fringe trim, pretty good shape, size eight. Second pair are Mephisto. This is definitely a Bolo brand. It's a comfort brand. People know it. They love it. And these are the Helen sandals. They kind of give a Birkenstock vibe. They retail for around $160 and they should resell for around 50 ish. And last pair of shoes, I picked these up based on style. I thought they, I could add a lot of keywords into them. They're just kind of 90s and Klein, but they're a crochet upper, little flat, and then they tie around the ankle. They have a genuine leather sole, size nine, in pretty good shape. I'm gonna add granny core, cottage core, boho, crochet, even beach and beachy into those, very cute. Okay, getting into some accessories now. We first off have this hat from J. Crew. It's 100% wool, size small, medium. It's like a, I believe the style name was the classic fedora hat. I mainly got it because it is 100% wool, which is pretty nice quality. Same for this hat, actually. I picked it up because it was 100% genuine leather. This is a men's piece, so I'll throw it over in my men's closet, Mr. Poshman. The brand is Scala Classic, and it's handmade, 100% leather. So yeah, I would say at least $25, $30 for that. One purse, how adorable is this? I believe this was also handmade. I did a little bit of research on it and this particular type of bag does have a specific name. I can put it on the screen, um, but so adorable. I love the colors, it's all woven with this pom-pom little accent and some fringe. Uh, excellent condition. It's like a bucket bag, so had to grab that. I could see this selling for 35 to 50 ish. I did find one home item that I was super excited about. This is a Pendleton blanket. They yelled go for a new rotation and my eyes immediately went to this. I think because of the southwestern print and color scheme. I was going to try to find the tag. And then I quickly saw this and immediately tossed it into my bag, Pendleton. I have never found an actual like Southwestern, actually, I think that's a lie. I did find a jacket one time, a denim jacket by Pendleton that sold for over $100. So this has already sold. It sold for $71. Very exciting. I need to get that shipped off. Be sure to watch my ship with me video if you want to see that being packaged up. Next, we have a little crochet vest. Very cute, demanding, size medium. I got it purely based on style and condition. It's open front and has some tassels at the hem. It's a high-low hem. I always just toss stuff like this on my mannequin and it takes me 
no more than three minutes to photograph. And I don't typically take measurements just because, um, you know, it's pretty accommodating, I would say. It's not like a very structured kind of fit. Next, this is Door Door Couture, size extra large. I also got this based on style. Uh, it's also a sleeveless open front vest. I just thought the print was so boho and artsy, interesting. It's like a watercolor kind of stripe print. Just very cool. I did add a ton of keywords into this. Artsy, art to wear, boho, lag and look. And so yeah, with it being an extra large, that's great. And actually I was looking at comps on this specific brand and several pieces have sold within that $30 to $50 range. So yeah, maybe this is something to look out for. I did see a lot of these really cool artsy vests were selling well in particular. Okay, getting into clothing now. Starting off with one of my favorite finds. How adorable is this? It is 100% wool and this is cross stitch on the front. It's like a floral design. It does have like a turtleneck, almost like mock neck, I guess. So cute. The brand is, oh, JG Hook. Have I sold, I think I might've sold something from them in the past. I think this brand has been around for a long time. It's 100% wool made in Hong Kong, so it is vintage, really cool piece. Okay, we're starting strong with one of my favorite designer pieces that I found. I think a consignment shop might have donated some of their stock to the outlet because I found it all together and it was all designer. This is M by Missoni. I did do some research into this dress. I use the app Vogue Runway to do research on designer items. You're able to look through actual pictures of the runway collections and find an item that you may have or own. Yeah, I was able to see that this dress was from their 2018 line. The style name is like hearts and evil eye print. You have the hearts and then the evil eye, you have some flames going on. And then this right here is kind of like the classic Missoni chevron print, but this is gorgeous. The material feels so high quality. I just, I mean, you can imagine my excitement when I found this on $2 day. It was incredible to find and it all checks out. It's fully lined. It does have, you know, all the correct tags. It is a size, I want to say 38. I know I saw that somewhere. Yes, size 38. So incredible piece. I'm not sure what I will list this for. I believe it did retail for around a thousand. Uh, so yeah, I'm still going to have to look into that, but could not be happier with that. Okay. Next we have Chico's size two, which is a size large, no iron button down shirt. So this is great for travel. You can just fold it up. Don't have to iron it. It has a hidden button closure down the front in this tiger animal print. I'm pretty sure I have sold this exact shirt in the past. I want to say for around $32. I do really like picking up Chico's these days. It usually sells same day or next day for me. This is another great brand to keep an eye out for, especially in larger sizes, like extra large up to plus size. Hell Bunny. Uh, and I always add a lot of keywords like rockabilly, pinup, retro. This one is so cute with a flamingo print. It's like a faux button down front and the full kind of swing style skirt. Adorable. I think this should do exceptionally well with the novelty print. People love birds, cats, dogs. Zara new tags. This is their newer tag, which I love to see. Size small. Here's the tag. And this is a true wrap skirt. It is midi length. 
So a lot of kind of marketable features here. I've mentioned it so many times if I can figure out how to hold this up. But midi length maxi skirts and dresses sell very well for me. This is like a satin polka dot print and true wrap as opposed to just like a crossover kind of thing or faux wrap does very well for me as well. More new with tags, we have Lush. I used to sell this brand in the juniors department at Nordstrom. I thought it was like only sold there, but this has a tag for a boutique. So looks like it's also sold in boutique, size medium. I could not leave this. I really like the earth tone to it, kind of a chunky oversized knit, definitely grandpa style button down front. So yeah, and with it being new with tags, size medium, $68.50. So I could see this selling for, I would say 30 to 35 ish. Did I give an up, up close of this knit? It's kind of like a speckled, knit just very cozy and cute another favorite find from this haul johnny was size extra large someone threw this back at the bins i have absolutely no idea why i picked it up just expecting it to be flawed all over and i turned it inside out looking for issues it has none so i was so excited really pretty kind of classic Johnny was floral embroidery. You have, is that a sun or a flower? Just lots of cool stuff. And then this is like a cloud and back embroidered. And it also has elastic at the sleeves, which is nice. So really pretty, no issues, no pilling or anything. Okay, next one of my absolute favorite prints, tie-dye. This is so beachy and boho. I wasn't familiar with this brand Exist, but it was a size large and it had quite a bit going for it. Little ties at the shoulders, maxi length, side slits. So yeah, this will probably sell, I would say 28 to 35-ish really cute. More Chico's size three, which is extra large. I got this because it's 100% linen and it's a really fun pop of orange for the summertime. I also liked the really natural buttons. I thought that was a cute contrast to the orange. So, I mean, how cute would this be with just some white pants and a little tank. You could wear this like a shacket for sure. Very beachy, very boho. Eileen Fisher, a denim dress, like a mini dress. This is a great closet staple. Size medium. It does have pockets, which is nice. You could totally dress this up or dress it down wear it with sneakers or you could do like a cork wedge and some gold jewelry maybe a beach hat <laughs> could totally do a lot with that a more kind of bread and butter piece here this is lululemon i am definitely pickier with lulu tanks but it still had the rip tag on it so i don't have to go searching for their size chart which saves time it is a size 12 which is great and i you know, just thought it was a nice little tank. It had no pilling or signs of wear, so that's an easy 25, maybe 28-ish. I got this based on style and size. I think this print is so cool. Laura Lett, size 18, 20. It's very kind of pop art. And also the cut. It's like a tiered baby doll style cut, midi length, or it might be maxi actually. It buttons down, the buttons end before the skirt region and then the sleeves have elastic to them. So I think this is precious, a really fun kind of artsy, colorful print. So really cool, great size, great condition. I was just kind of rummaging through the bins and I found three American Eagle 
pieces all together in a size extra small. They very clearly had been donated by one person. So I just threw them all into my bag to make a bundle with. I listed the bundle at $35. Um, they don't really go together. I guess you could wear this one with the green shorts. This is a little strapless top and you can actually wear this. You can untie this and wear it as a halter or you can just wear it tied as a strapless. So with them all being the same size and they're all the newer tag, I had to go ahead and get them. So yeah, I think that should sell well as a bundle. People love American Eagle. They're not quite substantial enough, in my opinion, to list on their own. So I always kind of keep my eye out for same size stuff that's in a same similar style that I can just kind of bundle and list together. Okay, next up we have Equipment, a great brand, very minimalist, contemporary kind of brand, uh, size small. It's 100% silk. It's like this micro polka dot printed button down sleeveless shirt dress <laughs> that is a mouthful very pretty very high quality this probably retailed for i would guess 150 to 200 ish and it'll probably sell around 40 to 50 ish this I picked up, uh, I see this brand quite a bit and I do not run for it by any means, East 5th, but this piece I did kind of love. It's a size 1X, it has this adorable print to it. I like how all the colors, it's like kind of colorful but also kind of muted, which is my style for sure. And then the sleeves have a little bit of like a puff to them. There was just a lot happening with this that I liked. So I went ahead and got it for $2. It also is 55% linen. So very breathable, natural. We have a style based pickup, wish list apparel size medium large. This is a shacket. It's a button down shacket with a leopard print little chest pocket. Shackets have always just kind of flown out of my closet. This will probably sell, I would say 25 to 28 ish. More linen. This is pure drill size extra small. I would have liked for this to be a larger size, like extra large and up, but this will still do well. It's a maxi length. It has kind of an interesting bottom hem like a little bit of a flyaway there and this is 55% linen so again beachy breathable boho it does it does have pockets yes next this had kind of a combo of things going for it so first off it is new with tags this brand Elistical. I do see this and sometimes I get it based on style. The style for this was definitely there um, mainly because of this material. This whole like brushed textured gauzy cotton has been very popular um, and I do add all of those keywords into both the title and description. So the tag calls it the textured cotton v-neck button down top. So yeah, I think this will do maybe 25, possibly 28-ish. Okay, we have another designer item here, Victoria Beckham. This was on the rack, hanging next to the Missoni dress. You can imagine my excitement when I was just going down the rack and finding several designer dresses together. So it's kind of like a color block you have black and then this maroon color with a mesh insert and then exposed zipper down the back. I've never found Victoria Beckham before. This says dress number 146 made in England, 50% wool and 50% silk with the insert being nylon. Here is that inner tag. Just the highest of high quality here. Let me give you one more shot of the brand tag. A definite bolo, size four, just a gorgeous piece and excellent condition. 
This was also a great find. This is from the bins. Uh, the print kind of caught my eye. And then when I saw the tag, I was very happy. This is Tori Richard. And I have listed this brand over in my men's closet. This is a men's shirt. The last one that I listed sold uh, full price, same day, within like an hour of being listed for $45. It was also 100% cotton lawn. I think that does best from this brand, this cotton lawn. And also if it is made in Hawaii, this is a size large, very cool button down shirt. So yeah, I'll list this again around $50 and expect it to sell pretty quickly. This is definitely a Bolo brand, Tori Richard. And I think this is an older tag, which also seems to be a little bit more sought after. Okay, we have more tie-dye. You'll see a lot of recurring themes and patterns because I know what I like to sell and I just keep my eyes peeled for those types of items. So Elon, Elan. I think this is sold at Nordstrom. I have sold this brand a couple times now and it does pretty well for me. It sells quickly. This is a very beachy boho tie-dye top with wide sleeves. It ties in front and then has elastic at the bottom hem. I think it's just 100% rayon, size large. Yes. More designer, more Missoni actually. This is so pretty. This is more of their classic kind of print and texture. It's like an open or a loose knit sweater top with a v-neck. Very colorful classic kind of chevron design. This one is cotton, viscose, and polyamide. Made in Italy. I'm not sure on the size. I think the size is usually at the shoulder, size 44. Back to kind of trendy bread and butter brands altered state size medium but honestly this stuff sells really well for me this is a midi length green dress with a belt buttons all the way down and then has a high low hemline it is lined and it has these really cute tortoiseshell buttons which is such a nice little detail okay next we have eileen fisher which I love to see, especially at the bins, for like $1.50. Actually, what did I say? $2.20, which is excellent. Eileen Fisher, size 1X. Uh, larger sizes do especially well for me in this brand. And if they are a good fabric, which this is, I believe it is a linen blend. Yes, 87% organic linen 10% nylon and 3% spandex. So breathable and stretchy, two factors that we love. Speaking of linen, we have these Anthropology pants, size small, super cute. I forgot to tie them. Let me do that really quickly. They have this fun little rope style tie and then some pink threading at the end of the ties. I always love to see the little details that Anthropology puts into their pieces. You have an elastic waist, very beachy, very boho in, I think, yeah, linen and cotton. Speaking of beachy and boho, we have Free People Maxi Dress. This is a halter style dress with a little triangle uh chest portion i guess low back it does tie in back and then a really fun like folk art kind of print and then some kind of like lace crochet inserts so really cool i think when i looked this up this exact piece was kind of harder to find from free people which is Always a good sign. A lot of this brand is very saturated, but this specific piece does not look like it is, which is great. That's a size small. This brand I've sold a couple times in the past, Bobby Los Angeles. 
It is sold on Revolve and places like that. They have a lot of really nice kind of updated basics like this piece. It's just a soft cotton t-shirt dress, but the ruching kind of dresses it up and makes it a little more flattering. You have the tulip bottom hem and it is fully lined, I believe. Yes, it is lined. I found several of these Disney dresses which do sell very well. I would say uh, larger sizes do better. This is a size small, but it will still sell for sure. This one is Little Mermaid themed. So cute. You have Ariel somewhere. Yeah, there she is. And then the little fish. Is his name Finn? I forget. It's been a minute since I have watched the Little Mermaid, but this dress is adorable. Zips in back, fully lined. It has pockets, which is great. In excellent condition. Another tag that you guys should for sure keep an eye out for. Anything that says uh, made with Liberty fabric, like this does. So this is J. Crew collaborating with Liberty of London or Liberty Fabric. Um, I have sold Antonio Milani that is made with Liberty Fabric, a pair of pajamas that sold for, I think, $75. Um, people are actively searching for um, items that are made with this fabric, Liberty Fabrics, because it's higher quality, it's adorable prints, um, and it's just generally very sought after. So this shirt will probably sell, I would say 32 to 40 ish. It's a popover blouse. And I mean, the print really is adorable and summertime. This is prime time for it. Size eight, hundred percent cotton. Great piece. Torrid, one of my absolute favorite bread and butter brands. This is so cute. It's like a little overall jumper piece, romper, I guess you'd say. Yeah, romper. So it has a square chest or square line in front. I'm not sure what you call that. And then crisscross straps. They are adjustable, little pockets in back and front. And this is a linen blend, which is great. Yes, 18% linen. Also has spandex though, so it is a little bit stretchy, size 2X. This was just purely based on style, Blue Rain, which is just from Francesca's. Uh, so this probably didn't retail for much, but I couldn't leave it behind. It's a very lightweight and I was, you know, paying by the pound, so I had to get it. Elastic waist, very colorful stripe with the high-low hemline it is lined if this you know if boutique brands or lower end kind of brands have cute style items that I see when I'm out and about I will pick them up as long as they are pretty good quality so when I say that I mean things like they have a lining you know you wouldn't want to wear this if it wasn't lined because it would be kind of sheer and you'd have to figure that out. So as long as the boutique stuff and more lower end kind of brands um, put some thought into their items, I will still totally get them because, you know, honestly, I mean, this could be free people. The quality is pretty similar. It's 100% cotton, so it is, you know, all natural materials. It's not like polyester. Yeah, shell 100% cotton and lining made in India. So. This will for sure sell, I would say 25 to 28 ish. James purse size one, which is a size small, really cute kind of double layer t-shirt dress in a slub cotton it has rolled sleeves. This probably retailed for $150 and I would say it would sell maybe for around 35 to 40 ish cotton and modal so modal is extremely soft and comfy a lot of people search out that brand because they like their basics but they are very expensive on the retail market so a lot of people turn to second hand next we have market and spruce which is a stitch fix brand which stitch fix is 
a clothing subscription service. So a lot of people order from there and uh, they'll try on the clothes. If they don't like them, they can send them back and don't have to pay for them. Uh, but some people don't bother with that. They just end up donating them. Uh, so these are size 14W, which was one reason that I got them. Also because of the material 52% linen, rayon, and spandex. So again, lightweight, beachy, breathable, boho, etc. Moving on to our second and last bag now. I put a few exciting pieces on top. So starting off, we have this Adidas collaborating with Stella McCartney, which is for sure, another bolo, it's an athletic jacket, hooded, zips up the front, and it has some interesting kind of elastic wrist cuffs, as well as elastic bottom hem with the logo. Really cool. There is the back. It's like this um, leaf design applique kind of thing and this is so flattering i tried it on uh, very cool i'm not sure it has these straps on the inside they almost look like backpack straps so if you guys know what that is about i did some research and i didn't really find answers i need to look more into it but if you guys know feel free to let me know i'll have to look for a size on that but it does fit like a small and I always include measurements in my listing listings. Okay, next we have another very exciting find. This is also designer. Here's the tag. 31 Philip Lim size 6. This is a gorgeous silk dress. This was also hanging on the rack with designer items. How pretty is this? It's a very neutral printed dress with lots of ruffles, very feminine. Here is the sleeve. You have some cinching and a little tie with uh, like tassels almost. So that's the shoulder. And it does have a Swiss dot throughout so that's like a texture thing if you can see right in here this is called swiss dot so pretty almost like ethereal kind of dress very flattering with all of the gathering and ruffles it's fully lined the lining is silk as well i feel like i didn't do it justice by holding it up but yeah here's the lining also silk just so pretty and so yeah, I'm not sure, maybe a couple hundred on this. It does also zip in front. I'm not sure if I showed that, but there is the zipper. So yeah, I mean, gorgeous piece here in amazing condition. I couldn't find any flaws on that. I actually am going to set that off to the side there. Whew. Okay, next up, more of a bread and butter style piece to follow that up uh what is i'm not sure what this brand is kelly renee size medium i just really like the tie-dye and the kind of slouchy raw hems and cut to it you can see kind of the exposed seams there very kind of free people ish and also this is a soft stretchy jersey knit yeah rayon spandex blend picked this up because it was 100% linen and it was very beachy size 6 also in excellent condition just a little sleeveless shift dress really pretty keyhole opening in back Zara. I do love getting Zara. This is from their Trafalic line in a size small. It's an army green button down shirt dress with some cargo kind of pockets. Lots of pockets. And this does have a spot on the back so I am going to wash it. I'm not sure what that is but 
I feel like I could maybe get that out. I'll put a little Dawn dish soap on it. It kind of looks like a uh, grease stain. More designer. We have Etro made in Italy. So pretty. Size 44. This is a vibrant printed button down shirt. I saw a similar, actually exact style to this button down shirt sold on Poshmark recently for around $50. So that would be awesome. I have sold this brand in the past. I listed a sweater. I think it sold immediately for like $65. So people do keep an eye out for it for sure. Back to bread and butter, beach lunch lounge, button down shirt, size large. This is just a something I toss into my bag at the bins. Black and white button down with a high-low hem. Little contrast plaid pocket. And then in back, it has a little button down detail near the bottom hem. So I thought that was cute, kind of added some interest. It's very soft with it being rayon. Next, this is a brand that is sold through Anthropology. I've never found it before, but I have seen it and heard about it, Marrakesh. Um, and so I was excited to see this. It's a green vest with a Sherpa lining, very soft and cozy, has pockets. So this will probably list for around 35-ish. It's in excellent condition, size small. Moving on, we have another, I believe this is another Hell Bunny dress. Yeah, in a size small. So again, I will add pinup, retro, rockabilly. It's a velvet polka dot halter style dress. This is velvet here in front, this little bow. So very flattering. Rockabilly, did I say that? <laughs> There's a lot of uh, specific keywords that go with this style of dress and they definitely help sell it. So fully lined, excellent condition. I would say that would sell for 30 to 35-ish. This cabbie cardigan, I just kind of threw into my cart. These days, I do, every time I find this brand, I do tend to look up the exact style number inside. It's usually a short style number, so it takes me just a couple minutes. Yeah, style 6169. So I just typed in cabbie 6169 onto Poshmark, and I did find the exact cardigan, and it looks like this is something that sells for more. It's not saturated at all. I could only find, I don't think any were actually listed and I could only find two solds. I think the last one sold for around $90. So that is for sure what I am looking for when I checked comp, when I checked comps, I for sure bought this. It kind of has like a raised pom-pom texture to it and it isn't a size extra large, which is great. So yeah, I'm expecting at least $50 from that. That was a really good find. It is cotton and acrylic. Next we have a novelty kind of dress. This is from Mod Cloth in a size medium. And it's like a pinafore jumper dress actually with embroidered spider webs. So this will be great come Halloween time. I could see this selling before Halloween time though. A lot of people just really like spooky stuff, spooky themed stuff. Um, namely Jack and Ryan. Well, I guess Jack <laughs> likes uh, spooky stuff for sure. It uh, zips down and back. And so yeah, this will be really good. Uh, for Halloween time, I would guess that would sell for around 35-ish. Next, we have Charter Club size 12, 100% linen maxi skirt. So this I got based on a combination of marketable uh, features, the material, linen, it's beachy, it's summery, it's boho, it's high quality. Also, it's a maxi length skirt. It's neutral and it's a size 12 in flawless condition. So I was not going to leave this for $2. It does have a side zip. Free People, this is so pretty. Very vibrant dress. 
and I love these sleeves so dramatic with like a tiered ruffle and then elastic it's a faux wrap front and then it has some gathering down the skirt portion size two the only thing is that it is missing its belt so it has little belt loops but no belt I still got it though because it has black in the print I think you could easily pair just like a skinny black belt with it or honestly you could just clip those off and wear it with no belts it does seem a very flattering and form fitting already this was another exciting find so the brand on this is rock cotton and they make incredibly soft lounge sets which this is so it's like an oversized tunic top in this kind of washed graphite kind of look yeah rock cotton long sleeve rounded bottom tunic in a size one it's 95 percent Supima cotton and 5% spandex. So this is just about as soft as you can get. Uh, it has pockets, which is great. And then these are the matching leggings. So I did find these together at the bin. Someone did donate them as a set, which was awesome. Also a size one. They don't really have much branding to them, um, but it does say rock cotton on the interior tag. These leggings, you can fold them over or wear them high-waisted. They are full length, so soft, in excellent condition. This set will probably sell at least for 50. It retails for around, I think like 130-ish. Um, I have sold just the top in the past and it sold for 25, but I think this set should for sure do better together. Made well medium, little pointel knit, scoop neck, lightweight sweater top in my absolute favorite color, this kind of marigold mustard yellow color, so pretty. I think this is relatively newer, summer 2019. So great piece, a cotton polyester blend, Zara long line trench coat, jacket Zara knit in a size small and I just thought this was so chic and contemporary minimalist it has the belt and the sleeves also have a little uh, kind of mini belt to them and then the back is satin so very cool definitely looks better when you have it all spruced up and hanging um, it's really like a slinky material so uh, i think it would be really flattering soft surroundings size medium i was really happy to find this not only because soft surroundings as a brand sells really well for me across the board but also because this is a novelty print it's little sailboats very colorful sailboats which is adorable again with some white pants and sandals such a fun look back to designer etro size 38 really pretty laser cut sleeveless shift dress so pretty very substantial feeling material I could see this also being very flattering. It zips down and back, and it does have pockets actually, little slip in pockets in front. Let me see what the material is viscose, polyamide, and elastane. Made in Italy. So, yeah, really pretty. I'm not sure what this retailed for, but I would guess I'm going to list this for around 200 maybe 250 ish i do need to do more research i have not sold a lot of these brands in more substantial pieces like a really nice dress like that okay this was a style and size based grab it's a size 2x i love finding cute plus size stuff floral print very boho feminine 
with a maxi length, fully lined. I think this does have pockets, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I don't think it has pockets, but that's okay. Really cute. And it does have a little button up at the chest. More Chico's. I loved this top. Is this also, yeah, this is also no iron. Size 2 or 12, 14. It's 100% linen, so I'm surprised it says no iron. Uh, like a pinstripe red print. Little contrasting striped pocket. So cute. And then the kind of edge to the buttons and the collar is a contrasting colorful print which is adorable so summery let me see is this 100% linen I think that's one reason I got it yeah 100% linen so yeah I could see this selling for 35 ish for sure we have new tags J Crew factory I think this retail for around 60 or $70. I did look it up already, size medium. And this interior is called their cloud spun fleece, which means it's incredibly soft. It's a button up collar mock neck sweatshirt. Really cute buttons here. So yeah, couldn't leave this behind. Uh, will probably sell for around, I would say, 28 to 35 ish. More bread and butter, American Eagle oversized fit shirt. I do pick up pretty much anything I find from this newer tag, American Eagle. It all sells really well, not for a lot, but it sells quickly and consistently. Just a boho striped button down shirt with a little chest pocket. You could do a lot with this. You could wear it open over a tank with some distressed denim shorts and a little beach hat. Or you could wear it buttoned and dress it up. Another fancy brand here. Armani Colezioni. I think that's how you say it. Made in Italy, size 4. This is a gorgeous zip-up blazer jacket career kind of piece so pretty i love the cut to it it's very feminine but also uh you know kind of masculine with its um just style to it so yeah i like the uh kind of juxtaposition of that really gorgeous piece and it also was a great fabric content 42 percent wool acrylic polyamide but yeah, mainly wool, 42% wool. Um, it's almost like a boucle kind of feeling knit. Very, very pretty. I hadn't heard of this brand. I mainly got it based on style and material. It's 100% silk. The brand is Cami NYC in a size small. It's a little striped silk tank, like camisole tank with these pearls, oversized pearl pearls at the straps which I thought was so pretty a little v-neck very feminine and chic fully lined I am going to have to steam this so I'll put that to the side but I think that might sell for around $50 some of the comps were really promising next we have porridge this brand is sometimes sold at anthropology size medium I believe this piece in particular was sold at Anthro. This is so cute. It has little ruffle sleeves and a ladybug novelty print. So precious. So I'd say 28 to 35-ish on this. It's a mixed media kind of blouse. So the front and this back upper portion are like a rayon. And then this is more of a slub cotton uh yeah viscose and cotton kind of switching gears and styles here over to athleisure and lounge fabletics size small uh very soft cozy jumpsuit in this like rose color it has a wide leg has pockets really pretty I think this color is flattering for a lot of people. 
Uh, so yeah, I would say again, probably 28 to 35 ish on this. Let me see. It's going to see what the material is, but I think that might be kind of a big feat here. I'm not sure where the inside tag is, but it is extremely soft and stretchy. Next newer tag Zara. This is adorable size medium. How cute is this little baby doll button down dress with a ruffle hem. So cute. I would wear like gladiator sandals with this, like a brown gladiator sandal and little brown crossbody bag. Let me get a close up of these buttons. They're very natural and kind of boho looking. And this is, is it 100% linen? 60% linen and 40% cotton. So all natural, breathable, lightweight, very cute. Next we have another Disney themed dress. This one's a size medium and it's also Alice in Wonderland. Oh wait, no, the other one was Little Mermaid. So this one is Alice in Wonderland, right? Yes, definitely. I see the rabbit and I see Alice. So you have a little bow at the chest, some scallop trim, so pretty. Lace up kind of corset style and back. And some lace trim at the bottom. Fully lined. So yeah, that maybe $40, $35, $40-ish. More Stitch Fix. So before we had Market and Spruce. This is 41 Hawthorne, also a brand sold through the clothing subscription company Stitch Fix. This one's new with tags. It's the Crestwell Henley Knit Top in a size 2X in color burgundy. I got this because, well, obviously it is new and it's a great size. It's very soft and comfy. Um, I thought it'd just be a great kind of basic for someone. It feels, I mean, it feels very cozy. Yeah, cotton, modal, and spandex. So like I was saying earlier, modal is probably the softest material there is aside from like cashmere. Brandy Melville, this will sell pretty quickly for 28-ish would be my guess. This is the Jada dress. I have sold it countless times. Little open back with a daisy floral print. Anthropology Dolan Left Coast Collection, size small, snap collar, turtleneck, long sleeve. <laughs> that is a mouthful. So yeah, it's a ribbed stretchy knit with a snap collar. So you could wear the collar snapped up and like kind of scrunched down as a turtleneck or you can unsnap it and have it just be like open for a little more <laughs> ventilation you start to get kind of warm and our very last piece for this huge haul is surprise chico's Zenergy in a size 3.5 or 18 which is great how fun is this it's like a botanical leaf printed skirt, athletic kind of skirt. so a very practical piece this probably retailed for like 75 to 85 ish if not more maybe around 100 um, so I would guess this would go for 28 to 35 ish it has a security zip pocket and back and then of course you do have the athletic style shorts under the skirt to make it a sport. So that is absolutely everything for this gigantic 75 item haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was probably, I would say six or seven hours of collective thrifting. So, you know, I don't, I want to kind of be real with you guys. I don't just roll in and load everything up. There is a lot of time and effort and sweat that goes into finding this stuff. Uh, but honestly, I love it. I love thrifting and reselling. It's definitely what I am 
passionate about. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all soon. Bye guys.